air base for our tornadoes were based also F-15s, the first wings. Let's go now to Burbank, California. Uh, Brian Jenkins is well known to American television audiences now, former uh, expert at the RAND Corporation on terrorism now and in their own private business. Brian, is there going to be a, a, a need to really step up security around the world as a result of all this? Well, I think security has already been stepped up, uh, but one of the key questions, uh, even right now, is if a war began, whether Saddam Hussein would fight that war with an eye to his own survival after the war, uh, that is, believing that he could sustain a defeat in Kuwait uh, and still remain in power in Baghdad and emerge as a champion of the Arab people for having stood up to the Americans, or would he instead, like Samson in the temple, use all sorts of capabilities at his disposal, chemical weapons, missiles, and potentially a terrorist campaign. If the initial reports are right, he may have been deprived of some of that, uh, uh, some of those capabilities in terms of the chemical weapons, the missiles. Uh, the terrorism portion of it still remains uh, a question mark. Well, how good are the Iraqis? And it's a, it's a curious way of putting it, I know, but how effective are they at organizing terrorist campaigns? We know about Abu Nidal. We know about the uh, terrorist operations that have been launched from Syria in the past. Do the Iraqis have that kind of capacity as well? Well, I, it doesn't require all that much to organize a terrorist campaign, uh, depending on the targets one chooses. And, and we're not talking about terrorism in the form of sabotage, the more classic sense of sabotage, going after uh, difficult targets, hard targets, that will make a strategic contribution to the outcome of the war, uh, but instead attacking uh, undefended targets. Uh, that may require cold blood. It doesn't require a great deal of skill. Uh, a lot of Americans who are watching this tonight are wondering, gosh, should I get on an airplane either in this country or if I were going to Europe? Is that a good idea? What would be your advice to them? Well, I think there has been a, a bit of an overreaction. In fact, it's a demonstration of, of the effectiveness to a certain extent of, of terrorism or even the threat of terrorism. If we uh, take terrorism to comprise not only the sum of terrorist actions but the atmosphere of fear and alarm that is created by terrorist actions or even by the threat of terrorist actions then in fact uh, uh, the war began in this country several days before the shooting uh, began in the middle east today uh, there is speculation about what terrorist targets might be security has been stepped up uh, people are frightened uh, but not a single terrorist has yet been sighted and Brian, what about Arabs around the world, especially those Arabs who are living in this country or who are visiting there? Do we treat them always as suspects? I, I suppose that is an unfortunate uh, but inevitable uh, a consequence. I, I think it's unfortunate and, and it becomes particularly more pronounced uh, if we do succumb to an atmosphere of fear and alarm and begin to divide the population into potential victims and potential fifth columns. Um, I think it is inappropriate to, to treat every Arab American uh, as if they are a, a potential terrorist. Uh, that really is the type of overreaction that, that, that I'd be concerned about. Okay, Brian Jenkins, uh, you're in private business now. Has uh, that business activity stepped up? Are you hearing more from more and more American companies and companies around the world about your services? Well, <clears throat> Kroll Associates is an international firm that, that has been involved for some years in providing investigative and, and consulting services to major corporations. Uh, needless today, uh, to say, since the invasion of, of, of Iraq, uh, by Iraq of Kuwait, uh, we have been involved in assisting our clients in dealing with the consequences uh, of the events in the Middle East uh, as it affects the private sector. Now, in the initial days, that had to do with issues of evacuation, uh, security concerns, uh, things of that sort. Uh, more recently, we have been trying to assist them in assess uh, the post-war uh, environment in which American corporations and European corporations will have to operate. Thank you very much, Brian Jenkins, tonight with us uh, from California. Former members of the Green Beret served in Vietnam with distinction. Brian Jenkins went then to the Rand Corporation, where he made a study of terrorism around the world now in private business. So we